Okay, so this will be part four of my Games Worse Than E.T. series. Uh, there are a lot of games worse than the uh, than E.T. for the 2600. Um, I've got my Publix brand Pepto-Bismol here, because last time I played these, I started to get kind of sick. So let's start off with uh, Airlock, data age game. I'm jumping over these guys here. What am I doing here? There's no animation, just a little jumpy guy. He's about to get killed by... I don't understand. That's a submarine. This screen looks pretty cool. Okay, if E.T. is the worst game of all time, supposedly, somebody out there thinks this game is better. Ah, here we go. What? What is going on? I don't know what I'm doing in this game. So, I'm just going to go on to the next one. And the next one is Brain Games. Again, it's one of the earliest Atari games. Um, I don't expect much out of it. It's some kind of puzzle game, I guess. Wait. Go. Well, it says go. I'm moving the joystick, nothing's happening. I'm hitting select. Let me hit reset. Wait, go. Hitting the joystick in many directions. Nothing is happening. I have. There's something four showed up on the screen. Go. Nothing's happening. I think this one is a rare game. Uh, I tried it earlier. It's called. Glib or Glib or something like that, but <laughs> this is, I think, definitely going to be one I would need a manual for. See, the, the reason I get the idea, and I hope it comes through in the video, because it looks kind of flickery here, but this has got to be some kind of word game, is because there's letters, duh, but there's also little numbers under them, so it makes me think of, like, uh, Scrabble. Alright, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that this is a really great game, but I'm not seeing it. Alright, I think this one ranks up there in badness, terribleness, as uh, Firefly. I, I still think that is the worst game for the 2600. Probably one of the worst games ever, but I think Skeet Shoot, it, it's it's pretty bad, so let's let's try that one. Okay, okay here's my little Skeet Shoot guy. Okay. There's no way I can. There is absolutely no way I could have hit got that that ski. Impossible. There's no way you can't get it. That's impossible. The angle of your character is not going to let you hit that one. It's impossible. Look at that. At that angle, I could hit it. I don't know if there's a timer on this or, or what, but it just seems like it goes on forever. Let's try this one. Star Fox. <laughs> no, it's not the Nintendo game, Star Fox. And that little smiley face looks very familiar, doesn't it? I'm wondering if this is an, another hacked version of, uh, of Firefly slash Sorcerer. Let's see. This actually kind of feels like a defender-y kind of game. Why would my ship be at the front of the screen like that? Where I have no reaction time if there's a bad guy coming on that side. It's impossible. He goes to the front. In Defender, the ship is on the other side. At the end, not at the front. Oh, I can just hold down the button. I don't have to keep hitting it. 
the, the, okay, here's another thing. There's no score. How do I know how well I've done? How do I compare myself against other players? I can't. There's no score. I just landed. I'm, land, I'm, I'm on the ground or something. That turns into a tank. I'm landing, and I'm about to get hit again. If there's no score, how am I supposed to know how well I'm doing? Alright. Next game. Okay, this one's called Stuntman. Try it here. Oh. Hey, I actually did pretty good that time I got to that second rope. But if that other rope gets to the other side, you're pretty much screwed. See that bird right there? You can't get past the bird. Maybe I can... Oh my gosh! right side. Maybe I can jump up there and get to the helicopter. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Hey, I did it. I made it to the helicopter. Now what? Is that it? That's the whole game? That's the whole game. Oh, wait. Oh, now I have an axe! Oh, I died. Oh. How do I kill these things? I don't think this game has Lee Majors approved. Oh my gosh! Come on! Alright. I got to the first helicopter, couldn't get to the second. I got this axe thing I can't do anything with. Alright, so what's the next game? Hallmark the Barbarian. Well, it kind of looks like a barbarian. I guess. See, look at that jump. Jumping is just ridiculously bad. It's not... Oh, that's interesting. How did I get that? I hit down on the joystick. There's a girl in a cage with a monster and a bat. What the heck? Oh, she's got, she, I can shoot. I shoot the bad guy? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Every time I hit down, it switches to the, the other screen. Now I get killed by the rat. What the heck? <sighs> now, I would have expected a barbarian game to be something like uh, maybe Golden Axe or something. You go around whacking people, killing them. But there's nothing, nothing like that at all in this game. I can jump like super high. But I can't get up to that hole up there. Where's that Pepto? I don't know. It's kind of expired. I may have to give it a shot anyways. Alright, this is done. Alright. So anyway, that's To Mark the Barbarian. Okay, this time I'm going to play a game that everybody hates. Pac-Man is really not that bad of a game. It's just not like the arcade game, which is, I think, what people mostly complain about. This and E.T. seem to be the poster children for the worst games of all time and usually get blamed for the crash of 1983. There's a lot of factors that cause that, so stop blaming E.T. and stop, stop blaming Pac-Man because that's not the reason that it happened. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and give Pac-Man a try. I haven't played this in a while. Um... But I, I used to be really, really good at it. I could go through this whole maze and flip it a bunch of times. See if my old pattern still works. Pac-Man has an eye. Ooh, it's so terrible. The ghosts are very flickery. I don't know if that's going to show through in the video or not, but... Um, there are four of them, in case you're only seeing two. The sound effects don't match the arcade game. That's, you know, limitations of the 2600. So, you know, I don't find this to be really that bad of a game. It's just not like the arcade. I mean, the maze isn't like the arcade. Uh, the sounds are not like the arcade. The background is not like the arcade. Um, Pac-Man has an eye. You know, he, he has a weird uh, 
animation and I just missed that power pellet so now I'm screwed uh, you know there's no fruit it's nothing like the arcade. Honestly, if, they, if they'd have called it anything else but Pac-Man, people wouldn't be railing on it so much. You know, it's it's just it's just not like the arcade, but it's still a fun game. See, I'm in the I'm in the. Uh, they can't kill me when I'm here, so I can just kind of hide and just hide hide in here. Come on! Oh, oh, they got me, <laughs> and then I died through when I came through the other side. So anyway, that's Pac-Man. It's not that bad. Alright, so that ends my series on uh, Atari games that are worse than E.T. Um, as I've said, it's not that bad of a game. Um, it should not be the poster child for what caused the 1983 crash. I mean, there are games way worse than this. Hopefully, you didn't get as sick as I did. Uh, I did have to keep this handy. Thanks for watching.